everyone my name is shambhavi hope you all are doing well so today is the next series for our uh, lead code which was going on so see what we were doing previously is ki i was helping you out to solve out some of the lead code questions uh, based over their easy medium and the hard levels and i was even telling you that how you can solve out these questions because we all know ki if you want to apply in some very good mnc you need to have a very good uh, coding skills even you need to have some good profile over any of these uh, coding platforms so it's your choice whatever you take for me i have started on with lead code for you all you can take hacker rank you can take hacker earth and many more are there in the market whatever you wish out you can just take all of these right so If you haven't watched out the previous videos up till now, so I request you to go ahead and watch out those previous videos first of all. Um, just a minute. So I request you to please go and watch out those previous videos first of all, which is actually a kind of a series that is going on, right? So it's better that if you take it in a manner of series, it would be much more better, right? Great. So again, today we are having three four questions with us. Okay, I'll be helping you out to solve out all of those questions. Like, what's the way? What is the question all about? And uh, uh, generally, like, how to find out the answer for those questions and all of those things we will be um, going through today. Okay, perfect. So let's start on here. So I would just first of all zoom in a little bit. Ha, ah, cool enough. great so we are having a linked list okay i hope you all know about the linked list it is one of the most important data structures which we have in it is a kind of a list and there we are having different things like nodes and like a lot of things over there right so we are having a linked list with us right swap every two in two adjacent nodes and return its okay so what we have to do we just have to swap up the swap up every two adjacent nodes adjacent nodes okay and just we have to return it the head straight is on its head so you have to solve up this problem without modifying the values in the list that in the node that is only nodes themselves may be changed cool enough so the way how you have to solve up this problem is that you have to modify the values in the list nodes okay that is it means that the only nodes should be changed hope you are getting that thing So let's say I had given up this input head is one two three and four. So my output would turn out two one four and three. So what is this doing? It is actually oh one second. Yeah, it is swapping every second adjacent number. So my second adjacent number is first of all two, and then my second adjacent number is four. So it is just swapping that second and four. so it becomes like two one four and three. Fine. Very easy and looks pretty easy to solve out. Right. So yeah, that is the method. How you like you just have to do this. Now this program seems very much easy because you just have to uh, check out the indexes means the total number of numbers you are having, and from that for every second index you just have to change up the position, and just you have to subtract one position back and put it over there. You have to just swap up the positions generally, and that is it. What you have to great. Let's start writing out this program very quickly because it's very 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 easy kind of a program. So I'll start with my making up a class. So if you if you like write this question, the solution over uh, lead code now, you will already get a class which is made. You will get a uh, functions which is made. You just have to uh, write the main part of the complete program. Uh, maybe the main lines where you are mainly writing up the logic, right? But no, as we are writing it over here. on the google column and that is the reason i would just write up all of these things on my own okay but you if you are going to try it on to any coding platform you will automatically get a class which is automatically made by like made previously you will even have functions which are defined up you just have to write down the uh, very main logic of the complete uh, program okay so this is the class which is a solution class i have a make a function that is the uh, swap um Let's see. Okay, and inside that, what I'm going to do first of all, I'm going to pass up cell. Cell, we all know that whenever we are making up a, a function in that inside the class, we pass up the cell. Okay, we have to put down the val is equal to zero. Means I'm setting a variable val and assigning it the value as zero for now. Okay, 
and my next variable will be next and i am just setting that to none okay just so not like this uh, okay if i have made a function and define the self i would just take it in another manner ki i would define up my head as a um, list node list node okay i define up my head as a list node and i would just point that to like this and again i would just put up list node okay what i'll do i would just write over here one thing that is um uh, option right now see putting up this respective thing see this optional thing it removed out this so uh, uh issue which was over here and again over here i am going to put out this optional now see the reason for this is list node is not any kind of a function or anything like that right so yeah we require of this auto importing of this so uh, list node and that is the reason for which we are just using up over here the optional and this particular thing right so i hope you are okay with that particular thing and even clear also right so for now just we have what we have done up till now we just defined up a simple class okay and even you can just put this uh, from typing import option that is the uh, respective library which needs to be used out fine great so you just have to up till now you just have may have made a class that is solution class and after that you just have used up this def uh, function for making up a function which is swap pairs and inside that you have passed out the self the head and yeah again assign that to the optional list node fine that is all getting down okay i would just put up a colon and getting down over here i would just write that okay so now like it's the time basically we were just simply going ahead and putting down our uh, conditions which we have to satisfy right so i would just take my conditions for this respective variable that is my head variable so i'll i'll just very quickly try to write out this question uh, this condition so if not head okay so it means that if it is not head or not head dot next okay i would just write return Let's see what does it all about the the lines which I have written. Not and or not. These are the two functions which we have up in the Python. If you have like gone through my types of operators video which I had put a long time ago, so you might have guessed it very correctly that okay these are two operators which we have up in Python programming language. If you if you haven't, I'll tell you. So not and or not. Okay, not not and this or these are the operators which we have up in Python. So my very con my condition very simply satisfies that if not head, it means that if we do not have head, or my second condition says that not head dot next. It means that the value which we are having, if that is not head value, and it is also the not the value which is next to the head value. Means let's say if I give you an example, we take the index as one and two. So my condition will be that if not one or two means if the value is not my index one or if my value is not of index two, then what I would do I would very simply return my head value. As simple as that. This is a very simple condition. It might seem a little tricky, but yeah, try to listen what I am trying to say. Ki if the value is not head, right? If it is not head. Or not head dot next. If the value is not head also, and it is not the next value of the of the head also, simply return out your head means the real value which you were having. Otherwise, next what I would do, I would just write head dot next. Okay, head dot next dot next. Next, next it is taking us to further, further, further nodes. It is taking us to other further indexes of our linked list. Okay, well, this is what it is doing. Comma, head dot next. Okay, um, head dot next comma head. For all these variables, I am assigning up a value, and that is my head comma. self dot now here i'm going to call up my swap pair functions which we have right away declared so okay where is that f this one find swap pairs in the bracket we are having head dot 
next dot dot next right comma and it is like head dot next right now see what is done over here i would first of all just try to write return here now just try to listen very 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 carefully what i'm trying to say because it's a very long line and many head and necks are over here okay fine so if we have a per head value right now i am taking the second value to the head let's say head is at 0 next will be at 1 and other next will be at 2 so i'm trying to say that if my head dot next dot next comma head dot next comma head if my zero value if my zeroth index if my first index and second index if all these three are equal to my head if all these three are equal to zero comma i am just using that self calling up my swap pairs function and again now i am just trying to swap it maybe change it to the next value so what is this line simply doing this line is very 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 simply just trying to check out the values at my adjacent positions and trying to swap up that value from my adjacent position that is all what this particular line is doing right so even you can have your other way as well to or uh, maybe maybe write down this uh, thing onto your own or maybe or to solve up this question but yeah this is even one of the ways into which you can simply uh, solve out this particular question right when you will check out this question on lead code so you will see key already they have given you the val the next all of these values to be defined so there you can just go ahead and even like check out and write out the complete program onto your own fine so yeah this is the method key how do you generally fix out and solve out the problem the problem seems it was very easy uh, so simply you had a link list you just have to swap out the every two adjacent nodes right let's say you're having 0 1 2 3 so it should be 1 0 3 and 2 that manner only right so this is what this complete program was all about so i hope you are clear with what we have discussed here for this respective program now let's move on to the next program and it says that we are having two integers dividend and divisor okay divide two integers without multiplication division and mod operator okay so what do we have to do we just have to or divide the two integers without any multiplication without any division and without any mod operator also okay so the integer division should truncate towards zero which means uh, it's losing its fractional power for example 8.345 would be truncated to 8 and minus 7 okay so in simple words if i say you have to round it off round off means whatever the decimals you will be having you just have to remove all those decimals you just have to have a single integer value right return the quotient after dividing dividend by divisor so you have to divide the dividend by the divisor and then you have to return up the question for that value okay now we have to assume we are dealing with an environment that could only store integers within the 32 byte signed integer range minus 231 to 231 minus 1 for this problem if the question is strictly given 231 minus 1 and return to okay and the question is still okay okay fine now what's my examples as a my dividend is 10 my divisor is 3 okay so we have to just do 10 by 3 so in that case my output will be 3.3333 something right but my final result which i will be getting will be only and only three so i hope you're trying to able to get what i am trying to say okay so we have to simply do dividend by divisor that's the method but our condition says without multiplication division and mod operator okay my second is let's say seven uh, is my dividend divisor is minus 3 so output will be minus 2 yeah 7 by minus 3 or uh, 7 divided by minus 3 it will be minus 2.333 something but again it is truncated to 2 it has been rounded off to 2 so my final result will only and only be an integer that is minus 3 right so yeah now see what is the method to solve this complete program so method is key now here i will let you know the what is the logic the logic is pretty simple you just have to apply up a few conditions you just have to uh, use a little bit of power uh, function of uh, python and yeah you will able you will be able to do out the things very easily 
right but again at your own end how to solve out this question and uh, maybe how to build out the logic for this thing right so for that the method is ki you have to take a paper and a pen with you right where you have to very 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 uh, like clearly write down note down ki what is the question all about how are you trying to solve it you just have to apply some calculations on your own first of all then try to build up the logic on your own and that is a place where you will be implementing that in the programming language right so always make sure once you are solving up the questions you have a paper and a pen with you where you just try to build out a logic different from other programs okay and uh, you just simply go ahead and like put out that logic into the programming language great so what i'll do let's quickly write out the program for this particular question okay so my class is my solution class again as i was saying you will be getting this class on the functions already made on to your leap code right here we are using google club and that is just the reason why i am uh, like making up these on to my own otherwise you will already get that defined over there right so okay my class is my solution class and i'll just try to make a function let's say divide okay def divide right that is my function now inside that i am going to pass out the self okay i'm just passing out the self over here comma i'll make a variable as dividend okay dividend and i will set that as integer okay my divisor divisor again i will set that as two integers my dividend and my divisor both will be integers only no float nothing any other kind of values are not allowed and my answer my result to this respective will also be in the integer only fine that is what i have written up till now now let's take a variable as s okay now i will apply a shorthand if else condition okay i will let you know first let me write now explain it if oh uh, sorry s is equal to minus 1 if my condition goes if dividend okay if dividend is greater than equal to 0 and divisor is less than 0 or again opposite condition if div if dividend is less than 0 or oh, and and divisor is greater than equal to 0 right else one now see the, the line which i have right now written that is uh, in technical terms we say that it is a shorthand if else okay so i would again see if you haven't watched out those previous videos into which i have explained about the shorthand if else so first of all go ahead and watch out those videos so that here whatever i am like trying to give it to you is pretty clear okay so yeah see here now my condition will be my this line will be read by here if dividend is greater than zero and divisor up till this particular place this is my if condition if my if condition is true then my output will be minus one else my output will be one because see if you have zero either in the dividend or divisor or any negative value or anything like that right so now that's not possible for you to uh, simply given the result that not possible either onto the divisor or onto the dividend if you have uh, zero right so now that is the reason this condition has been set put down ki if you are giving in the zero as a dividend or a divisor simply return minus 1 okay otherwise return 1 as a output for now okay now next conditions next uh, we will be i'll be using the dividend first of all now so my dividend is equal to now if you have uh, heard about this abs function this abs is uh, it is absolute square right now this is one of the functions which we are having in the math module okay what it does it helps you out to re uh, maybe return the absolute value of the argument 
okay whatever the number you are having whatever the things you are having it will help you to return out the absolute value of that abs and this will be dividend okay same i will do for the divisor for getting in my absolute values so divisor is equal to here we are having abs and in the bracket we are having divisor as simple as that for dividend and the dividend next i will take r as a variable and what it will be it will do it will help us to store the result so r is equal to length of range in the bracket we are having i'll put up a range that is 0 comma or dividend dividend minus divisor plus 1 okay i will just go up till that particular thing as a range comma i would sit down here as divide the dividend is the above one divisor is the below one right always numerator is the dividend and the denominator is the divisor okay great now my condition goes that if if s is equal equal to minus one one condition we applied above now keep dividend is greater than equal to zero and divisor less than zero or dividend less than zero divisor greater than equal to zero so it will return us minus one so my if the value of my s is equal equal to minus one what i would just do i need to put colon i would just do result is equal to result one second is equal to result uh one second result is equal to minus result it means whatever the value will be getting we will be just having that in the negative value as a negative sign okay okay getting down according uh, coming out of my i uh, if loop here i would just one second i would just put up a condition now over here about minus so minus underscore limit okay so my minus limit is minus into the bracket i will set this as 2 to the power 31 because yeah here we are given about this 231 uh, values right minus 231 uh, over here right so i just simply put that 2 to the power 31 okay minus 2 to the power 31 this is the minus limit and what about my plus limit that also i would add so plus underscore limit because we were given in the conditions we have to note down and put down this condition too so my plus limit is also equal to gonna be 2 to the power 31 minus 1 this was our plus limit which was again mentioned out into our question only which we have to simply wrote down over here right next i have here as result so now result i am going to set down as min as minimum in the bracket we are having max okay min max in the bracket i'll just put down as result comma minus limit okay comma plus underscore limit now that is what we had and then i am going to return up over here as result right so my result is as simple as that we just have minimum okay we have min, min over here then we had put down the maximum and the result comma minus limit comma plus limit that is it right and at last okay i will do retur and i will just simply do return the result so yeah see again this was quite a simple program but if you see it from the question you will say Ki, oh in this in this program i don't have to use addition or subtraction or maybe, even maybe multiplication or anything like that so how will i do this particular program and how will i be able to get the result so see it's it's very simple the, the kind of a program this is this was it was very simple so you just have to think and you just have to make sure key you are what exactly logic you are trying to build out right so it's always uh maybe very 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 important to check out the logic key what it is all about right how you are building that and how effective that particular one is onto your program 
सो कोडिंग इज नॉट जस्ट ऑल अबाउट राइटिंग द प्रोग्राम कोडिंग इज ऑल अबाउट कि यू इवन गेट अ मेथड टू रिड्यूस अ टाइम कॉम्प्लेक्सिटी एंड इवन अ स्पेस कॉम्प्लेक्सिटी टू राइट सो वेन एवर यू आर सॉल्विंग द क्वेश्चन ऑलवेज मेक श्योर कि यू आर ट्राइंग टू पे पे अटेंशन की अबाउट दीज थिंग्स एज वेल फाइन ओके सो नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन वी आर हैविंग कि वी आर हैविंग अ अनसॉर्टेड इन टीचर एरे नम्स ओके सो इट रिटर्न द स्मॉलेस्ट मिसिंग पॉजिटिव इन टीचर ओके Right, so you must implement an algorithm that runs in big O of n time and uses big O of n auxiliary space. Okay, example one is we are having a number one two zero. Output will be three. Explanation: the number in the range one two are all in the array. Okay, example number two. Again, number we are having three four minus one and one. Output will be my two. Explanation: one is in the array but two is missing. Okay, so see this complete program is all about. He you will be giving up a. Unsorted integer array. Okay, you'll be having an unsorted integer array, and in that array, you just have to return up the smallest missing positive integer, the one which is present not, the one which is missing. That is smallest missing positive integer you have to find out, and this is all what this program is about. So what do you have to do? You first have to check out the whole list, the whole the sling list, sorry array. and uh, then you have to check out which is the missing number maybe the smallest missing number just write that down over here okay fine let's try to write down the program for this one so the program first of all i'll just make up a function okay oh uh, my function is first missing positive again i'll say if you are gonna Uh, make this uh, write this per complete program into the uh, maybe leak code or hacker rank wherever you get it out. Already the class and the functions will be made. You just have to write down the main logic. Okay. Self comma. Here we are having I'm setting up nums and I am making the list for my nums because yeah that is what is required. Integer passing integer into it and then setting my result as well as the integer value. Okay, that is what I have done. Now see, there are a few steps which are always common for all of the, uh, like, question solving of this question. So just try to make sure you are writing all those in a like effective manner, fine manner, right? Next, we're having I'll apply up a loop. So for i comma num n enumerate. Now enumerate is one of the functions which we are having up here in the Python programming language. it actually what helps you it helps you to return up a numerate object means if you are iterating over something right so it is a maybe kind of function which helps you to uh, support the iteration support the loop fine that is what enumerate function helps us to do and here when we are having up a loop which we have to apply over the numbers so yeah this is one of the functions can be ignored over here right so my condition goes for i comma num in the enumerate function I would just apply that if num, if num is less than equal to zero, okay, okay, one second. So if my num value is less than equal to zero, first of all, right? So in that case, I would just do num of i is equal to zero. As simple as that. My very first condition is like this only. Ki if my num value, one second. Okay, if my num value is less than or equal to zero, so in that case I am just gonna gonna assign the value for the num of i as zero. Okay. Now moving down again, I would apply my second for loop. So for i, comma num, in, enumerate again that same function and in the bracket it's gonna be nums, right? Getting down. Now I will just take a variable as a index variable. Okay, and I will again use that ABS function which I had used above. If you remember, into the previous question also we used out the ABS function, right? So again, absolute value tells you to return out the absolute value, right? So I used out this ABS in the bracket. I'm just going to use num. One second, subtracting minus one because yeah, we have to see ki how. the things are going and like what is the space total how many characters numbers we are having and which one is exactly missing up from there right 
So index is equal to abs num minus 1. Okay. Now next will again go my condition. Ki if, if index is greater than equal to 0. And index is less than length of my nums. So my condition is like this. Ki if the index is greater than or equal to 0 and, a, and index is less than the length of my total numbers. So my condition will go that if nums of index, if the index of the numbers with the index of my list is equal equal to 0. Okay. So in that case I'll just write nums of index is equal to and here I'll just write minus i n. Okay, that is minus i n if that is over here which we are having. That is identity function. I know it stands for your identity function. Okay, I will just write that in a small only i n f like this. Great, getting down my elif condition will start from here. So elif my nums in the index if the second condition if if it is greater than zero right if it is greater than zero right so because we just don't want to have any negative or positive thing right or even in duplicated numbers and that is the reason we are just applying this condition so to that i am setting my index for the nums okay index for the nums uh, and i am multiplying that with minus one right so yeah see nums index multiply equal to minus one this will sentence will mean meant out to be nums index is equal to nums index multiplied by minus one if in case you are having a negative thing so yeah in that case we just used out this minus one also over here going down coming outside my for loop now is the time for applying up a new for loop so for my for loop will go so for index index comma num in enumerate again enumerate function because you are using up the values for over this right so because you have an object to support out the iteration so for index common num in enumerate and in a bracket you are again having the nums if you don't know about the enumerate function detail you can just go and watch out my previous python videos where i have maybe given you a very brief idea about what is the enumerate function how to use that even with the help of some examples too okay so my last condition will be like that if my num is greater than or equal to zero okay so in that case i am going to return it as index plus one okay like that index plus uh, one second index plus one and coming out of this for loop i'm just simply going to write return length of my nums plus so we just what we did we just with the help of the index and the total numbers we should have it we just try to find out the total values over there we just try to figure out that what are the total number of values which we, we will be having up over there and just with the help of those values i try to maybe calculate the total and return out the respective return indexes and the things for my whole program right so see this is the method ki how you solve out the different different kinds of the questions this is the method how you solve out a lot of kind of the questions or the lead coach or any other respective platforms of your choice i told you today the method to solve out three different questions both two questions from medium and one was the tough hard questions but you are not able to now guess it or which one is the easy easy or, or medium or hard because all these three are quite a simple programs to be written now now it's just a matter of Key, how you think about that questions how you frame up the logic behind that questions and how do you put that down onto your collab notebooks that is all what is uh, just required up over here so i just hope you got a very clear idea about all of these things about the questions about the way for the questions to solve out and all of those respective things so if you haven't watched out these previous videos and go ahead and watch out the previous videos too that might help you out a lot and uh, yeah i will be further watching out the same videos and going to the videos on to the next upcoming days also so if you enjoyed the video do share this video with your friends do like this video and don't forget to subscribe to the channel we'll see you there in the next video